as the Soviet army advances through the streets of Berlin. Reich's Chancellor Adolf Hitler marries his longtime mistress, Eva Braun. He waits until the Soviets are only blocks away and then shoots himself in the head. This is London calling. Here is a news flash. The German radio has just announced that Hitler is dead. Here's a special news bulletin. The British Broadcasting Company has just reported that Adolf Hitler died at the Reich Chancellery in the heart of Berlin, Berlin. With Hitler gone, and the capital of the Third Reich now a smoldering ruin, the men and women of the Allied forces, including G.I. Rocky Blunt, know that the end of the war is upon them. I guess I'll be heading home soon. After everything I've been through, that will be a major accomplishment by any account. But there's still so many unanswered questions, so much I'm uncertain of. One thing I am certain of, I have to put the horrors of the past behind me and build a new life, a life of peace, not war. This is the BBC Home Service. We're interrupting programs to make the following announcement. It is understood that in accordance with arrangements between the three great powers, an official announcement will be broadcast by the Prime Minister at three o'clock tomorrow. In view of this fact, tomorrow, Tuesday, will be treated as victory in Europe Day. After nearly six long years, the war in Europe is finally over. May 8th, 1945, is declared victory in Europe Day. Spontaneous celebrations erupt throughout the world. French soldiers pick me up, hoist me on their shoulders, and carry me down the Champs-Élysées, shouting, Vive la France! Vive l'Amérique! After four years of service in five countries, U.S. Army nurse June Wandry is on furlough in Paris on VE Day. We are in the heart of Paris. The crowd is nearly hysterical. Everyone is out on the streets, planes zooming overhead in huge formations. All the important brass are there, De Gaulle, and here I am. A very great crowd is collected already. Thousands upon thousands of people gathered to share this historic day with the King and Queen. Listen to the crowd. The last communique of World War II is in. The Russian people were told for the first time of Germany's unconditional surrender. In the nearly four years that the United States fought in World War II, about 16 million Americans served in the armed forces. Over 415,000 never made it home. Most were killed in combat. Many remain missing in action. For those who survived, the echoes of the war experience linger for a lifetime. In my opinion, war is a terrible thing. I never thought in my life, in my young life, that I would see what I saw and, and had to go through what I, what I went through. 
Every cross I see in a military cemetery represents a young life between 20 and 40 years of age. That's a waste. That shouldn't be. The people who create those situations are never the ones that are out there fighting. I detest that, I hate it. War is stupid, crazy. We've got to have love on our planet. There is a pride in being a veteran. I know that being a veteran sets me apart from millions of other people who did not sacrifice so much of their life and their mentality and their emotions for our country. Of that, I'm very proud. What is the greatest generation? The greatest generation was everybody who worked hard to provide the means by which we were able to win this war. The greatness encompassed the country as well, the whole country. It's all of us, not just the military. The spirit of man has awakened. The soul of man has gone forth. Grant us the wisdom and the vision to comprehend the greatness of man's spirit that suffers and endures so hugely for a goal beyond his own brief span. We are all of us children of Earth. Grant us that simple knowledge. If our brothers are oppressed, then we are oppressed. If they hunger, we hunger. If their freedom is taken away, our freedom is not secure. Grant us a common faith that man shall know bread and peace, that he shall know justice and righteousness, freedom and security, an equal opportunity and an equal chance to do his best, not only in our own lands, but throughout the world. And in that faith, let us march, march toward the clean world our hands can make. Amen.